Hello, in this tutorial, we are discussing about a PHP program to check a number is even or odd. So we are using XAM server for doing the PHP program. So go to the folder where XAM server is installed. My XAM is in C drive. So going to C drive XAM and htdocs folder. In that, uh, I'm creating a folder for the application. The name of the folder is microng. Now in the Visual Studio open the folder which we have created. So which is there in C drive uh, XAM folder. htdocs folder and it's in inside micro ng. So micro ng is the folder where I'm creating my project. So this program we are doing in two different file one for user accepting the value which is eo.html and eo.php likewise two file we are creating eo.html is used to create a user interface form for entering the details user entry form and eo.php which will take the data from the client eo.html and find whether the data is even or odd so totally there are two files which are used eo.html and eo.php eo.html act as a client page with the user interface for entering the number and eo.php will take the number from the eo.html and find whether it is even or odd so inside eo.html we are first giving a heading to the programs by using h3 tag and then creating a form by using form tag the method given for the form is get method value and action the name of the file which needs to be called so the name of the file which needs to be called when we click the submit button is eo.php so from eo.html the call will goes to eo.php first we are creating a label uh, which is written as enter the number next we are creating uh, input control input type number so it will allow us to enter only the number and the name and id for the control which is given as num now we are checking the number is even or odd so uh, floating point number is not required so we give the pattern as 0 to 9 so it will allow us to enter only integer number so we mentioned the pattern as 0 to 9 so it will allow a combination of uh, 0 to 9 digits that means it will be only integer number next we are creating the control which is submit button as input type equal to submit and value also we have written as submit so submit will come on the button value so we have completed with the design of form now we are writing the php part eo.php so here we need to take the value from the eo.html input control number control and we have to check whether the number is even or odd we are giving a heading to the page by using h3 tag Now the PHP script can be started with less than question mark followed by PHP and it end with question mark and greater than symbol. First we need to take the value from the control. So for that we can use dollar underscore get super global variable. And we take the value from the control. The name of the control is num and the value what we get we store inside variable which is named as x 
in php dollar get is a super global variable which is used to collect data from the form after submitting the html form uh, and the form should be with get method so here we have used get method inside the form action so here in order to get in a php page in order to get the values we have to use dollar get then we check if the number x is divisible by 2 if it is divisible by 2 we display that it's an even number otherwise display that it's an odd number so in the same case in html if you would have used the method as post so in order to get the value from the control from, from the control from the form control uh, we need to use dollar underscore post and we are creating a hyperlink from this page to go back to the user entry page which is eo.html by using anchor tag so hyperlink reference to eo.html so after displaying the result whether the user entered number is even or odd uh, we will get a hyperlink to go back to the user entry page eo.html open the browser and we can type it as localhost but before uh, doing that we need to start the apache server from zam control panel so open the zam control panel and start the apache application server then on the browser we can type it as localhost so it will show the dashboard of zam server then we need to change with the folder name of our project so localhost slash micro ng is a folder name where all our page are stored so we write it as localhost slash micro ng which is eo.html is our user entry page so we need to open eo.html page there is an entry control uh, which is allowed to enter only the number which is input type equal to number so when we enter a number it will check whether it is even or odd and there is a hyperlink to go back to the previous page so while we are executing with the get method we can see the value what we are passing that will get attached to the url so in the url you can see the value which is coming in the num variable and that we can change from the url so once we change the php program will takes the value accordingly so if we don't want the value to be displayed in the url just like when we are submitting the password or some other informations we cannot show the values on the url so we have to make the form method as post so during the post the data will transfer through the packet itself not through the url so if you are using the post method inside the form we have to use dollar underscore post super global variable for accepting the value in php page php dollar post is a super global variable that can be used to collect form data while submitting the html form which is having the method as post 